Hi, I'm Claude Curran. I'm running for Congress in Massachusetts' 4th Congressional District. I want to talk to you about a very urgent problem that affects the entire country, addiction, but specifically pain medication addiction. My work has made me concerned that both doctors prescribing pain meds and their patients who take them really don't understand the risks involved. For many people, their addiction begins after being prescribed pain meds for post-surgical pain or pain from injury or possibly pain from, from dental work. It appears that most people appear uninformed regarding what addiction actually means. I want to talk with you about a pain contract. I want you to understand this because it will help you understand the risk of addiction and also it will help you understand what maybe friends and family who are suffering from addiction are actually going through. The following is a lot of information, but it should be standard practice to warn people about the hazards of the use of pain medications. Dr. Smith wants to treat my pain with an opiate-based pain medication. He has tried me on acetaminophen, ibuprofen, gabapentin, pregabalin, tricyclics, tramadol, furacet, furanol, and other non-opiate analgesics, all without relieving my severe pain. Dr. Smith has warned me that my use of opiate pain meds such as hydrocodone, oxycodone, buprenorphine, methadone, morphine, fentanyl, and others may successfully relieve my pain and improve my ability to function, improve my mood, treat any symptoms of depression, anxiety, panic attacks, mood swings, irritability, and insomnia, cause me to feel sedated, or may give me motivation, high energy, and make me outgoing. These medications may relieve symptoms caused by emotional, physical, or sexual trauma and make nightmares, flashbacks, intrusive memories, and other trauma symptoms go away. The opiate pain meds may introduce my brain to a level of happiness and euphoria that I have never experienced or imagined possible. They may cause me to experience sensations and mood states many thousands of times more powerful and satisfying than typical feelings of happiness, love, or physical pleasures. These medications may introduce my brain to an experience that I, that I may literally fall in love with and that surpasses the gratification I currently enjoy from all of my relationships, my occupation, and my goals. These chemicals may radically change my personality and how I interact with others. They may make me unable to return to what I currently experience as my normal life without daily medication. They may cause me to suffer severe mental and physical discomfort without indefinite daily dosing. These medications may cause me the financial toll of requiring stronger and more frequent doses in order to treat my pain and mood symptoms. These chemicals may cause me to undergo accelerated aging with premature osteoporosis, arteriosclerosis, abnormally low testosterone levels, depletion of adult stem cells, severe dental d damage with the possible loss of my teeth. And they put me at risk for permanent lack of sexual interest and sexual function, I may become romantically and sexually indifferent, indefinitely. These chemicals may cause me to become addicted and find my life dissatisfying and even possibly intolerable without daily dose. My addiction may cause me to get involved in dishonest and illegal behaviors and activities in order to ensure my supply of opiate medication. I may become suicidal in the throes of opiate withdrawal and could possibly take my own life. My addiction may result in my faking physical pain and even seeking unnecessary surgery, dental extractions, or other unnecessary medical treatment in order to get pain meds. I may purposely injure myself in order to require treatment with pain meds. My addiction may cause me to resort to using street drugs to treat my addiction. My addiction may cause irreparable damage to the lives of my family, my friends, and other relationships that depend on my normal function for their normal function. I also acknowledge that I have no legal right to sue my prescribing doctor or the manufacturer of this potentially addicting, disabling, and life-altering medicine because addiction is not currently a legal grounds for disability. I agree to assume these risks because of the agonizing level of pain that I suffer. My doctor agrees to treat me with minimum doses of medication in order to avoid that I become addicted. And I agree to take the opiate pain medications only as prescribed and to inform my doctor as soon as the prescribed dose fails to adequately treat my pain. All patients all over the country should have this information before they are prescribed opiate-based pain medications 
because I and other doctors all over the country treating addiction see the result of non-judicious use of pain medications. Thank you. Again, I'm Claude Curran. I'm running for Congress in Massachusetts' 4th Congressional District as a write-in candidate on November 2nd. Thank you.